Hey there, Dave Allred, The Real Barman here. Today is part one of a two-part demo as we're gonna jump into my iPad and do a demo walkthrough of the new Upserve, now becoming Lightspeed POS system. And if you didn't see my last video on how Upserve and Lightspeed are merging to become one super power POS system, you can go check that out and I explain everything about the merge there. All right, but for today, part one of this two-part video is gonna be the iPad demo, which is the front of the house functions which is what the servers and the bartender see. And then part two will be the admin section with all the cool reporting and analytics and functions there. All right, so no preliminary today. We're just gonna get right into it. Uh, I'm gonna make myself very small and tiny and we're gonna jump onto my iPad so you can see how the former Upserve and now new Lightspeed K-Series works. I'll probably be calling it Upserve slash Lightspeed for the next year until you know the Upserve name sort of fades out. In case anyone's still looking for Upserve, if they're still searching for it. So during this demo, I'll be looking down a lot. I'll be looking at my iPad to use the POS. It's not because I'm shy and I don't like you, so don't take it personally. All right, now remember, if you get partway into this demo and you're like, I've seen enough, I love it, Dave. I wanna get a live demo with someone from Lightspeed. Make sure to click up here on one of the cards that's popping up uh, in the video, and I'll also put that link in the description because if you use that link, all right, I have negotiated with Lightspeed and Upserve to give you $2,000 off the hardware if and when you do sign up, which uh, you're not gonna find that anywhere else, I'm telling you. So make sure you get that demo with them. All right, there's no obligation to sign up. And as always, in the spirit of full disclosure, I'm all, I always like to share that I am an affiliate with Lightspeed and Upserve. So if you do click on that link and sign up, I do make a commission. I do thank you very much. But as always, I never recommend anything that I do not love and use myself. All right, otherwise that makes me a worthless piece of trash. So all of my reviews on here are my honest opinion. All right, it's very important to me that you know that. So with that said, let's get this party started. I'm gonna shrink out of the way. All right, I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see because I'm getting old. And right off the bat, I'm just gonna clock in. So I'm going here to clock in. I gotta find my name. Uh, there I am, oops, cancel, that's not me. I am Dave Allred Allred. Apparently I have two last names now. And then this is optional, uh, my impression of the day. So we can go back and get feedback on how we're doing. If I'm putting like two stars, they're like, oh, what was wrong with uh, Dave that day? Uh, but I'm feeling good, so I'm gonna put in five stars. I'm gonna put in the weather, I'm choosing sunny because it's gonna be like 107 degrees here today. And then I can add a note if I want. So that's optional, just a little more feedback for the uh, managers to take a look at. I'm gonna start my shift. And then I just select my name whenever I wanna get into the register. This is an extremely easy system to use. It's very intuitive. Upserve was created by restaurant people, so a lot of what they bring is the ease of use, although light speed was already easy to use, but uh, they really complement each other that way. So this is very easy and intuitive for the uh, servers and bartenders to use. Now this is the register screen, right? When you log, uh, log in, you can see everything right here. Um, from the register screen, it's very easy for bartenders just to ring in drinks really quickly and cash people out. So I have to start a new tab. So if someone comes up and they say, hey, uh, give me a beer, give me a Guinness pint. You say, sure, I can hit pay. The cash drawer is not set up in the system right now, so we'll be using credit card throughout this demo. And then we just hit pay and they're closed out. So register mode is for very quick ring ups. Otherwise, we can start tabs different ways. I can name a tab. I can be like, hey, Bill. Bill comes in. He's like, I'll have a Budweiser. So we'll start a tab for Bill. And then we'll go to beers. We'll put Budweiser pint. Uh, we'll send the item right here. And now Bill's set up and we can just add to his order. So that's one way to start a tab. Other ways, I can assign a customer. So you can have a list of customers in your database, which is great. You can have their information, their email, uh, their phone number. And so I know that my buddy Jordan is in here. So I'm going to go Jordan. I'm going to assign him, or I'm going to view him first, and then select him. And then you can see up here, there's Jordan right there. Uh, Jordan's going to um, just have a Coke for $6. That's expensive. Um, doo -doo -doo, and we're good to go. Actually, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to cash him out. Jordan just wanted a Coke. And then finally, down here uh, for starting a tab, on the bottom, you see if we go to tables, there's the floor map. Okay, so. Here's how you can map out your, your tables, uh, how big they are, where they go, the whole floor plan. You can have multiple levels. Here's an indoor and outdoor example. 
Um, what I really liked about Upserve on the iPad was you could actually edit the floor plan right on the iPad. You could put your finger on there and drag the tables around. You could create new tables. You can do this in Lightspeed. You just have to go to the dashboard. It's not a really big deal. Um, I did like that feature, so maybe they'll bring that back. But you can see up here the little dots on here. That's how many seats are at each table. You can add more seats if you want. You can add more covers. Uh, but this just shows you the default for how many seats should be at this table. Okay, so I'm going to start a table really quick. I'm just going to go to table three. It seats two. It's going to ask you how many covers every time, which you should be entering, because then you can find out how what your ticket sizes are, how, how much your uh, your sales are per person. I'm going to put three. We're going to say we dragged a, table, uh, a chair up here. And now we're ready to start a tab here at the table. And you can see right up here, the little three, that shows how many people are at the table. Now, I can start ordering by course, meaning I'm going to enter the appetizers or soup salad first, and then I'm going to enter the entrees, and I can order it all at once, but it's only going to send the first course, and then I'll go back and fire the second and third course later if I want to build it by course. It's totally up to you, or I can build it by seat number. So if you are a restaurant that says one, two, three, four at each seat, and the, so the servers come out and they know where to deliver the food, you can build it by seat. Okay, I'm going to build it by course for right now. We're going to come here. There's three people at the table. Um, they're going to have a Coke. And they're going to have a Voss sparkling water for $12. This place is expensive. And then they're going to start with a couple appetizers. They're going to have the lamb meatballs and shrimp and grits, which I've never heard of. That sounds really good. And then I'm going to add a course. And if you see right here, I can add a course right here. Okay, and let's say that the server's taken the entire order. They were ready, so they've taken the entire order. They're gonna enter everything. Chicken piccata they're gonna have. They're gonna have the ribeye steak and the burger, which brings up some force modifiers. Not all the modifiers are set up. This is a demo mode, but the burger is set up. So I'll say that I want some French fries. I'm gonna add some bacon. Oops, and I'm gonna add it to the ticket. Okay, so now we have course one and course two. You can see all that. And I'm going to hit send seven items. Now, that's, all that's doing is that's sending off the, the sodas. Well, there was a boss in there, so maybe that goes to the bar. And it's sending off the appetizers. The entrees have not been fired yet. All right, so this is kind of cool. It puts it on hold automatically. And then when I'm ready, I can go back and fire them. Okay, I can go down here to tables. You can see the little person right there that it signifies there's a table on there. You can see there's three dots on there. Signifies uh, how many people at the table. If there's like... 12 people at this table, a little 12 will come up on here instead of the dots. You can't fit 12 dots on there. Okay, and then down here at the bottom, you can see the covers. That's what it's on right now. If we go to total, you can see if we zoom in here, the total dollar amount so far at this table. The time is how long they've been sitting there for three minutes. And then the status, you can see one of two, which means course one has been fired. We're waiting on course two. So if you forgot, you're like, did I fire course two yet? You can go here and check really quick and see if you fire course two. And if you haven't, we can click on it. We said, yep, that's the one I want. And you can also see here, this gives a little detailed thing. And you can see, you know, first course, second course, uh, course is being produced right here, and then items added to. So that means it hasn't been fired yet. All we have to do go right here is go fire course, and now it's sent off to the kitchen, and now they're firing course two. So all that makes sense? Very simple, very easy to use. Now, again, I want to show you really quick. If I did choose to, let me go, let me go to a table here. Let me start another table. We're going to go to table two. We'll say there's two covers. Now, if I did want to start by seat, I would go seat. And then we would say that the first person wants to have a Canada Dry. And they're going to have the venison roll-ups. We are going to add a seat for the second person. They're going to have a Perrier. And then they're going to start with the burrata. Okay, so now we have seat one, seat two. Um, I can send all four items, and now they are separated by seat. Okay, so that's another way to do it. Let me show you really quick also the, the edit mode here. So if I just start ringing things in, and I've rung in a bunch of stuff, and then all of a sudden something goes wrong, I can go edit order right here. Or even if not if something goes wrong. These are the options you have. You can assign this to someone. You can transfer it to someone. I can discount it. Uh, and I can also remove it. So I'm going to highlight any ones I want. I can discount an individual one or I can select all of them. Okay, and I could hit discount and there's all sorts of discount options in there you can set up in the back end. So I just want to show you the edit mode really quick so you don't have to tap on one at a time and remove them. 
but I can tap on one at a time. If I bring something in, I can go to the edit and it brings it up here. I can remove it from the order. I can refund it. Discount cash is all sorts of different options you can do here if we just click on it. I can also go quantity, okay? You can see I did quantity four, but now I'm gonna remove the item. Okay, so very simple options you can do. If we look down here, dish of the day shows zero. That means there's no more left. You can have countdowns on all of these. If you know how many are left, um, you can say there's six left and you can see them counting down. The servers will know there's no more left. They can warn the guest that we only have three left of these. And you can see once it gets down to zero, if I tap on it, it says, nope, not enough. It 86 it automatically. And then since we're talking about menu items here, uh, if you hold your finger down on any of these items here, like the ribeye I'm gonna hold my finger down on here, you can see you have the option to put a description and a picture in it, and I highly recommend doing this. If you wanna increase your sales and, and sell more of your items, put a great description in here. You can do this in the back end. I'll show you how to do that in the next demo. And this picture, I put this picture in, it's kind of blurry, it's not very good, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. Plus you can put allergens in here. So when you're putting you know, magnificently marbled with rich buttery flavor, blah, 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 topped with roasted shallot compound butter, that gets people excited about it. This is a really cool option. You can do the same thing, like put your wines in there, describe the wines, what meal does it pair with, all sorts of things you can do to get influence people to order your items. Really cool options here. In addition, you can do set menus right here, prefixed menus. So like on your lunch menu or any other time, uh, you might have banquets, you can preset a menu and then they just have to choose like their entree and their main and their dessert, however they wanna do. So let's say that they do the wedge salad, uh, they're gonna do fish and chips, and then these are add-ons, which is always good to have upsells on there. I'm gonna add some mashed potatoes, and then I'm gonna choose tiramisu for my um, dessert, and it's all included in one price, except there was a $3 upsell, and then we just add that to the ticket. Okay, so they have the preset menus. They also have um, what is called automatic combo detection. So if I start ringing a soft drink, it's not set up on here right now, but I would ring it like a Coke, and up here in the top, it would open up saying, would you like to do this as a combo? And you can choose a burger and fries or whatever's included in that combo. Great for QSRs, uh, quick service restaurants. They set up a lot of those. Uh, up here on the corner, you can see, you can do gift cards. You can generate one or you can scan it. You can actually scan the gift card right up here. <laughs> There's me, woo. And you'd be good to go. So that's a little fe feature up there. And then speaking of scanning QR codes, I want to mention this really quick because Upserve brought this um, from their side is you can do what's popular now, which is scan the QR code on the table, brings up the menu, you can order and pay from your phones, your guests can, if you choose to do that. Some restaurants like to do that, some restaurants don't. That's a, that's a matter of choice these days. Um, but I like the hybrid option. I like to give them the option. So uh, maybe the server starts their order, enters it, but at any time, the guests can jump on there and they can add stuff to their order. It's very cool. And then they can pay when they're ready to leave. They can split checks, they can add the tip. So um, just so you know, the new Lightspeed has that option as well. If that's if you're interested in that, um, maybe if you're a fine dining, you're not gonna do that, but it's very popular breweries, a lot of the small places, coffee shops and, and so forth. So they do have that option. Um, now let's talk about the payment options. Um, let me just get this one out of the way here. We have a couple tables open and let me just show you really quick and this is this is run of the mill right every system should be able to do this but it's very easy on here so if i go find my tables we're going to go table three we're going to select this one and now on the bottom here we can split checks if we want to uh, we can transfer the check we all know that we all know the system should be able to do this but we'll go split check and then i can distribute by seat all right, just splits it all up and then you know these three seats are all paying for their own or I can cancel, confirm, split check. I can tap stuff, oops, if I go over here, I can add more checks if I hit the plus, plus button and I can just move stuff over and we can pay like that. And then if someone wants to split it, someone else is like, well, I'll split the shrimp and grits with you. I only had a couple bites. Well, I can hit the split button and I can add a receipt, done. And now it's actually, they're paying for half. You can see $7 of that shrimp and grit. So there's all sorts of options you can do. And then when you're ready to pay, you just go pay down here. Credit card, pay. That one's paid out. And then you'll be able to see, it says paid right here, which is cool because you know it's done. And then I just go ahead and close out the other two, which I'll do quickly. There we go. And anytime I go down here to receipts, you can see the receipt right there. 
Um, on the left here, I have my list of receipts. I can go find any of them. Um, if I choose this little green option, I'll get out of the way here. Right there, you can see all these options pop up. You can email the receipt to them, void it, refund it, uh, change the payment option, create an invoice where I can print it. So all sorts of options, <laughs> can't speak. All sorts of options when you choose the uh, receipt down there. And then back to register mode. Okay, so I'm gonna stop right there as far as the iPad demo goes. I just wanna give you an overview. I don't wanna spend all day talking about it. You're busy. But that gives you an idea of how easy it is to use, how intu intuitive it is, and your servers and bartenders are going to love it. So just a couple more morsels that you might want to know about when it comes to light speed. Um, let me get rid of this, and let's head to the pricing page. Okay, so the pricing is going to be more affordable now because light speed always handled the smaller places and upserve was able to handle the full service and chains and all that so now they have a wide range they want to make a pricing structure that works for everyone so you can see what it is right here here's the uh the old upserve you can see 59 199 359 were the three tiers now you can see that's been brought down this is not the way it's going to stay i'm pretty sure i'm not sure where they're going to land out with pricing but i do know they want to accommodate everyone so everyone has a chance to succeed with this pos system which is really good if you watched my video a couple years ago on the top five pos systems uh upserve was number one light speed was number four at that time you put them together merge they're definitely gonna be the top rated system out there hands down so this is the system you're gonna want and no matter who you are they should be able to accommodate you uh, and get you exactly what you want the other thing it can do um, on the light speed side they have great pms integration with hotel so if you're a hotel you're gonna want this system okay you can start tabs in for room service Everything they order from room service down to the uh, restaurant to the pool can all go on one tab. It's all integrated through the PMS, through Lightspeed. You're going to want this system. The other thing I mentioned in my last video also is that Lightspeed is in 100 countries, whereas Upserve used to only be in the U.S. So if you're in a country outside the U.S. and you're watching this, Lightspeed can accommodate you, which is great. And then let's see, what's the other options here? So they have multi uh, menus based on the different areas of your restaurant. And if you don't know what this is, this is actually a big deal to be able to, be able to create different menus in different areas of your restaurant. So if they go to the patio, you can get rid of uh, items. Maybe you don't want alcohol out there. You can take away the alcohol um, so they can only order food out there. Or you might have a special menu in one of your other rooms or only happy hour in a certain area so they can accommodate separate menus in different areas of your bar not every pos system can do this and then the last thing i'm just going to point out really quickly and we're done is just the the to-go screen which is you know it's nothing you haven't seen before but it's again very intuitive very easy to use uh you can choose uh the time and the day that you want to pick it up you can pick it up now or i can choose a specific time and you can see that you as the manager can set this up in the back end 10 left between every 15 minutes, which means you can't make more than 10 orders every 15 minutes, so you don't get overwhelmed. You can set that number at whatever you want. You can set it up for pick it up at the restaurant or curbside, completely up to you. And then you're just adding things to your cart. And once you add them there, you go to checkout. They enter their email address, their phone number. They're gonna get a confirmation that it's coming in. They can get a confirmation for when it's ready, if they're at curbside or if they're ordering at the restaurant. All sorts of different different options you can do here. You can add the tip over here, and then you just pay, and you're ready to go. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. I just want to run through it really quick without getting too deep. You need to go set up a demo with a Lightspeed expert because then you can ask all of your questions. I don't know what your needs are, your hardware needs. I don't know how big of a restaurant you are, but you need to set up a demo with them because you can ask all your questions and see if it's a great fit for you. And if you do, make sure to use the links that I got posting up here because if you do sign up with them, you can save $2,000. Why would you not save that? Okay, so I want to thank you for hanging out with me today and checking this out. Make sure to check in for part two of this two-part demo series where we're going to head in the back end where you can see these amazing analytics, which is what has made Upserve my number one POS for so long. It's really cool. You're going to want to see it. Okay, thanks for being here. I am going to see you next time. I'm out.